Another type of marketing campaign we can create in MailChimp is an advert, an advert to show on Facebook, Instagram, or Google. Let me show you that. So if we click on campaigns and click create campaign, we can click create an ad to create an advert. So to be clear, this is an advert that we set up and create in MailChimp itself, but the advert shows on Facebook, Google, and so on. I will show you the Facebook, Instagram ad uh, first of all, off, and then we'll go into the Google remarketing ad. So I can call the campaign anything I want to. I'll just call it FB test, Facebook test, for example, but you can call it anything for your own housekeeping purposes. And I click begin. Once again, start at the top and we move down in the campaign builder. So we click edit channel to decide where we want this specific ad to show. Do we want it to show in Facebook or Instagram or both? I'll click save. Audience, who do we want to see our adverts? In other words, when they log into Facebook itself, who will see the ad? We can define our audience, which I'll do shortly. We could show our ad to people already on our list. Okay, I don't have enough people in my list, but people already on our list or a segment of our list, people that have liked our page, or we can even um, find a new audience to view our, our ad um, with the options here, similar to our Facebook page likes or similar to our list. For now, I'll show you custom audience. So let's say I want this ad to show in Texas, Texas and United States. I could choose the city, cities, states, states, etc. that I want this to show. So again, this is when people log into Facebook or Instagram itself, and in this case, Facebook itself. Men, women, the age range, what their interests are. Um, in this case, I'll, I'll add pets, for example. And let's add dogs as well. And we could carry on and I'll click save. So this is defining who will actually see, see my ad. How much do I want to spend? So I click edit budget. And I could change this, for example, how much I, I actually want to spend on my advertising. $346, let's say. And do I want that, that budget to last for one week, two weeks, a month, etc.? Um, I'll make it just go for a week for now. So click save. So that's how much I'll spend in a week. Now we build our ad. Again, really, really quick and simple. So add content. We add a message. Um, I don't know, something like that. We add an image. Um, there's two things we can do with images. We can create a carousel, in other words, multiple images, in which case uh, the, the image sizes need to be 1080 by 1080 pixels or a single image uh, at 1200 by 628 uh, pixels. So I'll just add a single image for now. Where do we want to, people to go when they click on our ad? The title, um, Do we want a button? Yes or no? Um, yeah, look, you can put something in there. Okay, then, then we click save and close. So we've created the wording, added the image for our ad. We can see roughly what our ad will look like when, uh, when someone views it on, um, in Facebook on a mobile device on a desktop device, we could edit it. But if we're happy with it all, we add our credit card details, click submit ad, the ad hopefully gets approved, and um, it shows on Facebook slash Instagram. Easy enough. Let's just go back to campaigns. And I'll go back and just very quickly describe the Google retargeting ads. Again, I'll click add. So the Google remarketing 
ads, retargeting ads. The Google remarketing ad, um, you need an integrated store, a store connected to an e-commerce store connected to MailChimp, uh, uh, Shopify, WooCommerce, Magento, LemonStand, PrestaShop, etc., etc. And I'll just demonstrate this very, very quickly. Um, I'll just call it test for now. Uh, choose the store and I'll just click begin. And it's very, very similar to creating the Facebook ad. But this is what shows um, on, um, uh, on, on, on the Google Advertising Network. So the budget, how much do we want to spend? Again, we can click edit budget and um, edit that. And creating the content is really, really cool. For one thing, we can advertise our top sellers. So what happens here is, for example, someone visits our website and then as they're searching the web in other places, they will see our ad. So we could use the top sellers or we could just, again, create our own ad by clicking create own. We could choose a very specific product from our website um, or we can just create an ad by, you know, in, in the way we did, for example, with the Facebook ad by clicking browse images, um, adding an image, for example, and filling in all the various fields as we need to, clicking save and preview, and um, then submitting the ad. So that's how easy it is. Really, really quick and simple to create ads that show both on Facebook, Instagram, and also if we have e-commerce, to create ads for our products and so on that people that have visited our website, they will see those ads once they've actually left our website. So well worth doing.